Tommy Wing. Good for you. I'm now good for pipes. There's the cobwebs. Blowing me back all over the place here. Blowing no something on me. You shouldn't smoke it in the open. Dangerous. We'll catch someone on fire. Almost caught me on fire. <laughs> well, it'll be raining soon. It'll put you out, won't it? <laughs> Anyway, it'll be open soon. We had a guy inside have a smoking comfort. Uh, beware of my winds, he says. Oh, bloody hell. Feel it plucking at you. I don't know about high winds. This one's all round my legs. It's plucking me all right. Just a sec. I don't want to lose this seat of it's me back. I wouldn't wear a hat not out here. It's where you need a hat out here. Where you can lose a hat out here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come on. It was never as cold as this in Wapping. Well, ever since I've moved here, I've never worn so many winter woolies. Ooh. Ooh. And that central eating, what we're supposed to have. It'll be nice in the summer. Well, I suppose it will be, but it's not much good now, is it? stops before he gets to my room, the wind that blows through there. Ooh. It's all right for you, because there's two of you and you can cuddle up. I prefer to be cold. Mr Garnet, I'm saying this is not the warmest of places. Wasn't built to be warm, was it, my dear? None of these places, none of your resorts. None of your seaside resorts was built for the winter, was they? All these places was built for your summer. Summers we've been getting, I shouldn't think it'll be very warm here then. Yeah, but if you do get a really hot summer inland, like, people come out to these places to cool off. Uh, hot summer? You'd have to go back a few years to remember hot summer. 76. But we did have them. 76? Oh, blimey. I remember hot summers when the tar used to melt on the roads. Your feet would get stuck in it. <laughs> blimey. People used to sit outside their houses all night long. Either that or lie tossing and turning in a bed all bloody night. I remember hot summers when you could fry egg on a pavement. Bacon and all in 76. Yeah, that's going back a few years. Yeah, 76. So do these places, my dear. So do these places go back a few years. And as I said, when they was built, you didn't come here to get warm. You come to these places to cool off. Another thing, you see, all your ruling bodies of your British Empire, your British Rajas, your Mem Saabs, they used to come here on leave from all your hot world countries to cool off. Then after a few years in Cairo, up your Khyber Pass, all covered in bleating flies, <laughs> the blessed relief it was to have a bit of furlough down here on your channel results. Britannia, Britannia. I mean, we ruled all them hot countries, but we didn't like living there. Take it from me. No bloody fun out of boiling hot sun beating down your back of your neck all day long. We saw that in a film. Here, that's strange. What is? Not like in Coonshine. Hey? Coonshine. Your son, that's what they call it. You see, in them days, Anyone who was brown was the wrong colour. Well, they still are if they're too brown. You see, the only way in them days you could tell a real English gent was if he turned red in the sun. The last thing he wanted was to turn brown because then people would say, hello, he's a peasant or a dustman or he, he works on a building site, you see, and the mark of your real English gent, all his respect, comes from not working. I mean, none of your aristocracy didn't work, did they? They had people waiting on them, hands and foot. Like you expect me to do. I wasn't talking about that, Mr Garnet. Hey? No matter what you talk about, he never listens. When I was saying it's strange, what I meant was, there's a sign over there that says, no fishing from wooden deck. And yet that is where they all are fishing. Yeah, but they ain't fishing, are they? Well, if they're not fishing, what have they got all them rods and things for? Look! See? He's just caught one. 
That's a fish, isn't it? Yes, but he ain't fishing, is he? What he's doing is angling. Fishing is when you catch fish to eat, you see, like what your trawler men do. Catching fish to go with your chips. That's fishing, see? Whereas angling is when you catch fish to measure them, see? And stuff them. And put them in a glass case and stick them up on a wall. It's cruel. And if they're too little, like tiddlers, you sling them back in. That's not cruel. That's angling. So you get trophies and cups for that for angling. It's a sport like your golf. They have their own clubs, what they call their angling clubs, where they sit and have a drink and talk about all the different places they've angled in. See, what your trawler man does when he's fishing, that's not a, that's not a sport, is it? That's your, that's your job, isn't it? Another thing, you see, they don't have a, a fishing column in the newspapers, they have an angling correspondence column. I mean, none of your royals fish, do they? I mean, no oh, matter the Queen Mum up in Balmoral, God bless her. She don't fish, does she? She angles. None of them what the back the souls here, have they? You didn't used to look through them things, did you? Yeah. I mean, used to cost a penny. Ooh, I used to like them. Not so for women to look through, was they? Why ever not? Oh, they was dirty, wasn't they? No. You can see worse today on your telly than you could ever see on them. Yeah, but women shouldn't watch that either on a telly. Not if it's dirty. You do. Your eyes popping out of your head. Glued to it, there's anything dirty on the telly. Well, I'm not a woman, am I? Anyway, I complain about it afterwards, do I? You don't turn it off, though, do you? I shouldn't have to turn it off. I bought my television set and paid my licence fee to watch it, not to bloody turn it off. Only the other night, when they have that sex show on, they warned everybody, adults only, they said. You turned over specially to watch it. Well, I'm adult, aren't I? You're a hypocrite. You know when they had that nude show on the National Theatre? He was on the phone inquiring about it. I heard him. I wasn't ringing up about going to see it, was I? I was ringing up about complaining about it, wasn't I? Filth. Well, what was they doing there? He wouldn't know. Never went. Never been to the theatre in his life. Mrs. Whitehouse said what they was doing. It was in all the papers, wasn't it? She was going to sue him over it, wouldn't she? She never went either what I can make out. But what was they doing? Of course Mrs. Whitehouse didn't go and see it. Blimey, I mean, you couldn't expect a woman like Mrs. Whitehouse to go and look at that sort of thing, could you? Wouldn't sully herself, nor would I. Lord Longford goes to places, looks at things like that. He's always going to places looking at things like that. Yeah, but what was they doing? But he don't stay in them. He only goes in them places to see what they're up to. That's all anybody ever goes to them places for, to see what they're up to. I mean, he don't enjoy himself in there. He just watches. And when he's seen what they're up to, he, he runs out and complains about them. That's their job, isn't it? Him and Mrs Whitehouse, to keep an eye on places like that and look and watch and see what's going on. I thought you said Mrs Whitehouse wouldn't go in one of them places. No more she wouldn't. Make a sick it would Make that woman ill. She had to watch things like that. No. Your Lord Longford who goes in them places. And then he watches them, see? And then he goes out and he describes it all to Mrs. Whitehouse. That is why Mrs. Thatcher has given Mrs. Whitehouse a CBE. Well, she has to sit there for hours, that poor woman. Listening to Lord Longford describing and all the lurdest details, the foolfulness and the perversions of what goes on in them places. Blimey, you ask me that woman deserves more than a CBE? Daughter to make her, her Majesty's Minister of Filth with her own special portfolio to clean up the whole country, not just a TV. But, Mr Garnet, what was they doing there at the National where you wanted to go and see it? I mean, 
Nike. Right over. Doing things. To women. Worse. To other men. What? Pansy boys, was they? Romans. And they was doing it in the theatre. In front of everybody. On the stage. Cheeky devils. Yeah, but I mean, complain about it. That woman at Mrs. Whitehouse complains about it all up in arms. Saying it's art. Ain't art, is it? Bugger me, that's what it is. Anyway, it's legal now. Maybe legal, but it's not legal to do it in public, is it? Well, they bring it in a theatre, not in a laboratory. I don't care where they was bloody well doing it. Anyway, they're actors, aren't they? Oh. Most of the sex that you see today, on your telly, film, stage, anything, it's all done by actors. This one? I think they learn it to them in them drama colleges. How to do it? At the drop of a hat, Look. whenever it is needed. Every night, I suppose, if you're in a play. And matinee. Look. I sometimes wish my Bert had been to drama school. Once a month, if I was lucky. Once a year, someone I know. Most of that was acting. The one I'm talking about couldn't even act it properly. Look, I am not talking about ordinary decent under the bedclothes in the dark. Baby making sex. What I'm talking about is you're indecent. Doing it because you like it, sex. Pleasure sex. Men doing it with men and women doing it with women. And dressing up in each other's clothes, sex. Uh, Mr Garnet, is it still on? You know, at the National, what you wanted to see? and not come off yet. No. Where is your National Theatre? Well, it's up on your shaft bank, isn't it? The bloody great concrete barracks there. Thank. Uh, that uh, Mrs. Whitehouse. She runs a club or something, doesn't she? Wow. Well, association. Listeners and viewers association. And uh, I suppose if you joined, then it'd be your duty, wouldn't it, to go to all them places and watch, like your Lord Longford, and then report back to Mrs. Whitehouse all what you'd seen. Don't happen to know her address, do you? Never mind. It'll be in the yellow pages, I suppose. There's a shelter up here. Well, wait for me. I can't see keep up, bloody short ass. Wait. Ooh. Come on. I don't like being left alone. You hear such strange stories. Women being attacked and raped. You'll be all right. No. What about them sex maniacs in the papers? I don't live in places like Eastbourne. Might come in for their holidays. Well, I shouldn't think so. Not out of season. Too cold. Come on. I've ever seen so much water. Not before. Not all in the one place. There's even more where that leads to. More? Ah. See, that's your English Channel, right? Go down there on your right hand side. There's your thing, see? Now go up the other way, up past Ramsgate. Becomes your North Sea. Keep on going. 
round the corner, right round to Irish Sea, which is behind you. You can't see it from here. It's right up by to Liverpool, isn't it? But that's not all our English Channel. Over on the other side, nearer to France, it becomes a French Channel. That's where you're wrong. They're not allowed to call it that because it's ours, our English Channel. Well, their side too. Yeah. So if they want to paddle... They have to paddle in our English Channel. See, the only water that your froggies have got on their own is what is known as your Mediterranean. And they have to share that with the eye ties. And us, because when it gets near to our British Gibraltar, it becomes our British Mediterranean, see? I mean, all these waters was ours once. When you're North Sea, that's ours. It's only north of us. It ain't north of anyone else, is it? Indian Ocean, that was ours when we owned India. Of course, when we give India back to the Indians, well, we thought they want all that water, so we left it with them. We could always have the use of it any time we want. Of course, I mean, your Germans, they have got the Scarpa flow. Scarpa flows in Scotland. Indeed now, yeah. The Russians, they got their Red Sea. Well, they would have, wouldn't they, being red? But your Atlantic, your Pacific, they're ours, British. I mean, proof they're British names, aren't they? A lot of water, though. Comes in handy. Andy? Well, you want to have a naval engagement on it? Or paddle in it? I don't want a bloody paddle in it. Oh, well, it's too cold today. What's that smell? Don't look at me. Bloody froggies, you can smell them from here. Come on! Posh here, isn't it? Well, it's your Queen's Hotel, isn't it? Oh, hers, is it? Her Majesty's? Well, I mean, if she comes here for a visit, this is where she'd stay, isn't it? As I said, these places are watering holes for your rules, your aristocracy. I mean, they can't a place like this. You can't expect them to stay in a place that's rubbish, can you? Will we be able to get in all right? Oh, yeah. She ain't in residence. A flag ain't flying. See, if I make your queen's in residence, they have to fly the royal standard from the flag staff up there, announcing her presence to her subjects. The Queen's Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> of course. When Charlie takes over, that'll be the King's Hotel, won't it? Mm. Rolls Royce. No all. Can I help you, sir? No, it's all right. Just come in for a drink. Queen's Bar. Aston Villa, is it? No, it ain't. It's West Ham, you ignorant Scottish geek. Shh. Now, why do they ban her from Wembley, drunken pigs? You've been here before. Yes! Don't worry, follow me. Come on! Queen's Bar through here. Bloody nurse made you too. Come on. I say, excuse me, sir, there's been a mistake. Only we uh, come in the wrong place, you see. Any rate. <laughs> Nice to meet you. We're sorry. Gosh, proof. Come on, come on. The on about shh. It's this bloody service on here, doesn't it? Service. Ding, 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 bloody ding. God, bloody hell. Anybody at home? Two and a half million unemployed. I can't get one person to answer the bloody bell. Anybody home? Shop. 
You called, sir? Where'd you come from, John John? Portugal. I'm not surprised. Took you long enough to get here. <laughs> Portugal, eh? It's where your port comes from, isn't it, John John? They have to tread the grapes with their feet. It's John John. Help me wash your feet first. What can I get for you, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, can I have a large gin and tonic, please, sir? The same for me, too, sir. You don't call him, sir. He's supposed to call you, sir. But for me, John John, I'll have one of your large, special Alpine draft beers. Hey, put in one of them jugs, will you, with a handle and a lid on top and all them native Alpinians with skis painting on the side of it. Nice here, isn't it? Nice people. <laughs> Not like whopping, is it? It's been no point, would it? Doing a place like this in whopping. Ah, through. Is this what your Eastbourne Tories do for you? Hmm. Unlike what your bloody whopping Labour does for you. Madam. Oh, thank you. Sir. John John. What's this, sunshine? Four P. I'll just give you a fiver. And that's your change, Curly. Thank you, sir. He was right, wasn't you? Not like whopping, is it? It's not what your whopping labour does for you, is it? This is what your Eastbourne Tories does for you, isn't it? Shut up! What are you doing? Robbers. Bloody thieves. I'll give them a bloody five, huh? 